Hello everyone. Welcome to First Class Solutions. Today we're providing solution to this simultaneous problem we have on the board. This is a simple simultaneous problem from which we're expected to get the values of x and y. And getting the values of x and y, we need to solve both equations simultaneously. Solving them simultaneously, we can do that using the graphical method. We can do that also using elimination. We can as well substitute you know, the values of x and y to get each of them individually before getting the next subsequently. So, but today we, we will concentrate our attention on the graphical solutions to this simultaneous problem, which has actually been, you know, an issue to some students going forward. So look at this now. And the first thing we need to do, providing solutions, is to understand the concept of the equation of a straight line. What do we mean by the equation of a straight line? In a straight line, let's assume y equals to c plus mx. Now, y equals to c plus mx, this is an equation, is a straight line equation, is a linear equation, where c is our intercept and m is a slope. Now, this slope can as well be called the gradient. This is the coefficient of x, it can as well be called the gradient. And gradient in the sense that is change in x over the change in what? In y. That is dy dx. So it's the gradient of this equation of a straight line. So is that you call it the slope or you call it the gradient of the equation or simply the y dx if you are handy with mathematical operations? So in this case, we're going to make y solid to a formula in any of these equations. So as to get this kind of semblance of a function from the solution. So let's go forward. From the first equation, let's call this one equation one and call this one equation two. From the first equation, we have 2y plus 3x equals to 8. We need to make y solid to the formula in this equation. And making y solid to the formula, we say our 2y take plus 3x to the other side. We have equals to 8. It becomes minus, minus 3x. So in this case, what you need to do next, we are looking for y and we have 2y. So it means that we're going to divide all through by 2. So in this case, we divide all through by 2. Divide this by 2, divide this by what? By 2. So 2 cancels 2. We have y equals to 8 divided by 2 will give us 4. Minus 3 over 2 of what? Of x. So now looking at this equation that we had. Now looking at this, we have y equals to 4 minus 3 over 2 of x. So in this case, it means that our c is now our 4. That is a constant term. That is the intercept of the equation is now 4, whereas the gradient, the m, is now minus 3 over 2. So we're going to come to this graph. Now, coming to this graph, looking at this carefully, we discover that we have a negative gradient and we have a positive intercept. Now, in this case, we have 4 as the intercept and minus 3 over 2 as the gradient. Now, this minus 3 over 2 is a negative gradient, no doubt. It means that we have a 3 change in y over 2 change in x. We, let me repeat. We have 3 change in y and over 2 change in x. So it means that on the y-axis, all these values will be what will be represented. Now, for the intercept, it means that we have a positive intercept. On the axis of y, we're going to represent this. We're going to lo locate this for on the positive ax axis of y, which is this. We've located our four on the positive axis of y. And knowing that we have a negative slope, that is negative gradient, we're going to count downward instead of upward. So we don't have a positive slope. It will have been an upward count. But because of the negativity of the slope, we're going to count downward. So we're going to count three steps downward on the y-axis and locate two steps on the x-axis. So in this case, we're going to do one, two, three. Three step downward, we tick here, then take two step on the axis of x, one, two, then we we'll extend it here. We do the same thing. Take two step downward. Take sorry, take three step downward on the axis this, from this place on the axis of y. We have one, two, three. Now here we take two step to the right on the axis of x. One, two, we're static. You can continue those steps further. Let's let's take more step in case of necessity. We take 
three steps downward. One, two, let's say we have six here, yeah? three. Then take it two steps to the, to the right on the axis of X. One, two. So we, we have something to extend it here. In this case, if you now trace this, don't mind my imperfect line, my imperfect line, you can trace it out. You know, you can continue those steps as long as your graph can carry you or as long as you like. So in this case now, we've had this line to be this equation, y equals to 4 minus 3 over 2 of x as this line. Now we're going to solve from the second equation equally so as to get, so as to use the graph to solve for both simultaneously and get, so as, we're going to solve, also, we're going to solve for the second equation. We're going to solve for the second equation to get the equation of a straight line that we'll need to draw out to see where our first equation and our second equation meet. So in that place where our first and second equation meet, that place will, will now determine which value our x and our y will have. So let's go forward to the second equation. In our second equation, we have... y minus 2x equals to minus 3. Where we have to make y solve for the formula, we have y take minus 2x to the other side. We have equals to minus 3 plus 2x. Mind you, we have minus 2x here, so it becomes plus 2x here. From here, we have our what? Our intercept. And here, we have our what? Our slope as our gradient equally. Mind you, this 2 we have here is the same as 2 over 1. Meaning that the dy over the dx is 2 over 1. That is, the change in y over the change in x is 2 step on the axis of y and 1 step on the axis of x. So we'll go forward to represent the values on the graph. We say locating minus 3 on the y axis to represent the intercept, they will now need to just go. To the slope 2 over 1, we have to count two step upward. Remember, this is a positive slope. We count two step upward 1, 2. We locate here. Then the dx, which is 1, we have one step to the right of x axis. So we tick here. We're still going to join them together to see where our values of x and y lies. The same thing we do further again, take two step upward, one step, two step, then take one step to the right, we're steady here. We can do as many as we want, taking two step from here, the same place, upward, one, two, and take one to the right, we're steady here. The same way we can take two step upward here, one, two, and take one to the right, we're static here. This right here is four, here is three, here is two, here is one, and so on. So you, the value is where we aesthetic, we can just trace it out, trace it out. A line is not very perfect. If this had to be a graph board or a graph book, it will have been a perfect straight line. So here we have the intersection of these two equations. This is our second equation where we have y equals to minus 3 plus 2x. At this point of intersection, on the y-axis, we have what? 1. On the x-axis, we have 2. It means that the solution to this equation is that we have y being equals to 1 and x being equals to what? 2. So this is a solution of this simultaneous equation that if you interchange, it will give us the real values of the x and y on the equation. We can as well try it. In this place, we have y minus 2x equals to minus 3. It means that when we put 1 here and put 2 here, we'll get minus 3. How do we say? If here was to be 1, 1 minus 2 times 2 is 4. Then we have 1 minus 4 must give us what? Minus 3. So 
these are the correct values of what x and y that satisfy these two equations uh, thank you so much for watching the video do wait to share this video as well to your friends god bless you as you do remain blessed